Good afternoon and welcome to Williams Dog Training Company. We're here today with Fred and Raven and what we're going to be demonstrating for you is Raven's ability to understand and respond to her obedience commands, the corrections and motivations that we use while working with her, and the training equipment that we're using. Fred is using a regular six foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand, leaving his left hand free to give the correction. The correction that we give is a tug and let go on the training collar, which is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Raven has been fitted with her own personal training collar, and we will show you how to properly put that on and use it during your one-on-one -on -one lesson. The first command that they're going to demonstrate for you is healing, and healing is proper walking on a leash. I did forget to mention that as you saw, Raven was sitting very nicely on Fred's left, which is where all of our obedience does take place. Now they're healing for you and the command is Raven heal every time that you want her to heal. And also incorporated into our healing exercise is the automatic sit. And that occurs any time that you stop your feet. Raven should sit nicely right there at your left heel position and she should remain seated in that position until you give her next command. You can also see that Raven has learned to walk very nicely at your pace right there at your left heel position and not pull ahead or lag behind. Now the next command that they're going to demonstrate for you is the stay command. The stay command is a hand and voice command. You're going to use the open flat of your left palm an inch or so in front of Raven's muzzle and the one word command to stay. You're then going to walk out to the end of that training leash and Raven should remain seated in this position throughout the entire command until you return back to heel position. Now this is a great exercise to practice frequently throughout the day because it helps build her self-control skills. You want to start at a low time increment of about one minute and slowly increase to about three minutes. When you return back to Raven, be sure to walk all the way around the back of her, back to her right hand side so that she's on your left. And you saw she remains seated and Fred will give that heel command again and I'll run through the heel sit and stay for you again. Automatic sit. Good job. The open flat of your palm in front of her muzzle and the one more command to stay out to the end of your leash. Now this time instead of returning back to heel position, Fred's going to demonstrate the come command. You call her in using her name. She should come in and sit nicely right in front of you. Very nicely done. Now she returns to heel position by healing around the back of you. Returning to your left hand side, she should sit nicely, good job, and she waits for her next command, and Fred leaves her in a sit stay so that he can demonstrate that for you again. Call her in using her name, make sure she sits in front of you, and then she heals behind the back of you, back to your left hand side, sits nicely, waits for the next command. Fred gives the heel command, good job. Now the next commands they're going to demonstrate for you are the down commands. The first being down from a heel position. You're going to use the open flat of your left palm again, but this time straight down towards the ground and the one word firm command to down. Then give that stay command again as you're walking out to the end of the leash. Again, Raven should remain laying down in this position throughout the entire command until you return back to heel position. Again, another great exercise to practice frequently throughout your day to help build those self-control skills. It's a good time to remind you that you should be practicing all of your commands in a formal 15 to 20 minute session every day. It's a great mental exercise for the dog and it keeps them fresh and on top of their commands. Again, to return back to heel position, walk all the way around the back of her, back to her right hand side so she's on your left. She remain laying throughout the entire command. Great job. And they're off healing again and they will demonstrate that for you again. Open flat of your palm, straight down towards the ground. Be sure to give that stay command if you're walking away from her. Now they're going to demonstrate that down or uh, the come command from the down position. 
Called her in. She came and sat nicely. Very nice. Heels around the back of him. Good job. And we have one last command to demonstrate for you, and that's our down from a distance. And we'll give Fred and Raven a second or two there to set up for that. For the down from a distance, you leave her in a sit-stay, walk out to the end of that training leash. From the end of the training leash, you're going to use the open flat of your palm again, straight down towards the ground, and the one word firm command to down from the end of the leash. Good job. We've demonstrated for you today all the obedience commands that Raven has learned here at school. It's been a pleasure working with Raven and we thank you again for choosing Williams Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer.